Hello everyone. This course is BUSML 7247 Analysis for Macro Marketing Data. And this is the video for exercise 1, Rocket Fuel, measuring the effectiveness of online advertising. This exercise is based on a case study article, Rocket Fuel, measuring the effectiveness of online advertising, authored by Professor Joel Cantona from UC Berkeley and his MBA student Brian Bell. This case study examined the effect of online banner ads. This is CNN webpage, which is a typical webpage where people read news and gather information. As well as the news and information, we also see a lot of ads like this wallet ad, sprint ad, and private forensic company ad. The main question about the online ads is if online advertising is really effective on boosting sales. Academics and managers have attempted to measure the effectiveness of online advertising, but it is a very complicated problem because there are so many different people who watch so many different online ads every day. For example, let's think about a fancy wireless headset. There may be some geeks who are really interested in new gears and they may actively search for new products and get information by themselves regardless of the ads they are exposed to. Also, there may be some other people who are never interested in these type of devices. These guys may not focus on the ads of the headset even though they are exposed to tons of the ads. And of course, there may be some people who have need for wireless headset but do not actively search for a product. These guys may be a good target of the ads of the headset. But the problem we face is that we can neither identify these people nor track which ads they watch it. Even if we could, it is also very difficult to observe if the ads truly drive their actual purchases. Then, how to measure the effectiveness of online advertising? To do so, we first need to clarify what we are observing in real life. In reality, we observe how many people bought the device given online advertising. Then, if we can measure what would happen without online advertising, we are able to compute the difference in sales and conclude that the extra sales come from the online advertising. This strategy can be valid especially in the online context because we can easily divide people into separate groups in the online world by plugging background software into the web page. This software randomly divides people who have entered the web page into two different groups treatment group and control group. For the treatment group, the software shows the original ad of the product as usual. But for the control group, the software intentionally shows an ad which is totally irrelevant to the product. This irrelevant ad is sometimes called a ghost ad, which makes people not notice that they are being manipulated. Observing difference in the customer's responses between the groups, we can measure the effectiveness or ROI of online advertising. ROI is given by return from the ad campaign and cost of the campaign. Usually, most online ad companies charge a flat rate on the ads and the industrial standard unit of ads or impressions is 1000. Return is given by the extra profit due to the online ads. And the profit is decomposed into three different components. First, the average value of selling a product. This can be easily measured from internal information. Second, the rate of purchases, so-called conversion rate. Counting the customers who make a final purchase in each time period, we can estimate this rate. Third, the number of exposed people. Simply counting the customers who entered the web page, we can easily know this. So, 
This experimentation strategy enables us to measure the effectiveness of online advertising. The case study article introduces a real-life example of using this ex experimentation strategy. There was a digital advertising company, Rocket Fuel, which was founded in 2008. This company provided a fully programmatic marketing and advertising platform, which was automatically controlled and customized through AI and machine learning technology. Rocket Fuel had a client, Tascabella, which was women's luxury accessory brand. Tascabella wanted to conduct a trial ad campaign for a new handbag model to determine the optimal ad spending level for the product. The company expected $40 per unit purchased and $9 were charged per 1,000 impressions. This is the experiment result. In total, about 588,000 people were the subject pool. Most of them were assigned to the treatment group, and only a small portion of them were in the control group. The reason of having such a small size control group is the opportunity code. Showing a large number of irrelevant impressions means a potential loss in sales, which could be boosted by the original ad. So, the size of the control group is usually minimized to the number necessary to estimate the conversion rate in the control group. From the experiment, the conversion rate was 2.55% in the treatment group, whereas it was 1.79% in the control group. By the use of a statistical technique like chi-squared test, we can investigate if this difference in the conversion rate is significant. From the numbers in the result, ROI can be simply computed as follows. It was 32%, which is such a big number. Now, it's your turn. There is a step-by-step -step instruction of analysis in R with the actual data. Following the instruction, you will learn how to import the data into R, generate the table of experiment result, conduct a chi-square test for the conversion rate, and compute ROI of online advertising. If you've not yet installed the software and package, you need to install them first before doing this lab. There is an instruction guide for set up in the course in introduction page. Alright, then have fun!